Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and the day has finally come. The Washington Commanders have fired offensive coordinator Scott Turner. We're going to break it all down in today's video, talk about why this move needed to be made and talk about some potential options that they could go with. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. It takes one second. It's free. Go ahead and do it and hit that notification bell. Ron Rivera actually did it. He, the Washington Commanders have parted ways with offensive coordinator Scott Turner. I think almost all Washington Commanders fans wanted him gone, and I think it was trending in the way where we all you know, thought he was going to be gone, but we still in the back of our mind were like, okay, is Ron actually going to do it? Because we know Ron is too loyal to his staff, you know. Yeah, just too loyal to his staff. Some of the offense, you know, some of the assistants should have been gone a while. And even Scott Turner, I'm happy it is finally done. The offense was just not good enough this year. Really, really wasn't. The last couple years, honestly, under Scott Turner, it wasn't that bad considering the offensive weapons they had and the quarterback situation. But this year, where, you know, Scott Turner definitely had some influence on the quarterback, they also added. Brian Robinson, Jahan Dotson, Curtis Samuel is healthy, and you know Logan Thomas, I guess, was healthy, but that didn't really help much. But still, they added offensive weapons. They were better offensively in terms of their personnel, but the offense kind of regressed. And honestly, last year, the offense had more injuries. They're, you know, the same or more injuries on the offensive line last year. You also had, you know, Ricky Seals Jones starting games for you at tight end. So like it's not like they had so many injuries this year compared to last year. Like Scott Turner just wasn't doing his job properly. Uh, you know, the first couple games was fine. After that, though, it was just a mess for Scott Turner. Just getting too cute at times, getting away from the run game, sometimes running too much when your top receivers are balling out, not getting the ball to some of your playmakers like Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson. The Giants game was just an absolute mess and just the last straw for Scott Turner where Brian Robinson is averaging 7.3 yards per carry and he gets 12 yards or he gets 12 carries in that game and Curtis Samuel who nothing against Curtis Samuel but the runs they were giving him in that game were not working at that you know in a at a certain point he had four carries for I believe negative one yard or maybe four carries for zero yards and it was second or first and 10 Brian Robinson just you know uh, cranked out an 11-yard run or 18-yard run, and Scott Turner decides to run an like, outside run with Curtis Samuel, and he gets one yard, and then that drive really ruined the game for them. And I think Scott Turner lost that game for them, and if they won, they're in the playoffs. So um, there's a lot of things where you can say with that, but Scott Turner, I, you know, it sucks for someone to lose their job, but I, he did not deserve to be the offensive coordinator uh, moving forward. And you saw today, or, you know, Rivera and Mayhew had a press conference today, and you could kind of see, like, he did not give a ringing endorsement of Scott Turner. You, you know, this is what he said on his performance this year. He said, I think Scott did his job and did the things he tried to do. So we're going to self-evaluate and go through that process. That's the full answer to, like, yeah, of course he did his job. He called the plays. That's his job. But he didn't say anything about, you know, he did his job well or anything like that. Not a single compliment uh, and said he tried to do things, which is true. He did not do a good job, but you can't, the writing was on the wall after he said that. I literally made a video right, I was ready to upload about the top five offseason priorities for the commanders and one of them was firing Scott Turner and I was talking about this and of course it happens right after and I'll admit I was wrong about Scott Turner. Like I... I thought he had some potential. And I, you know, he still has potential, but he knows how to design plays. He just doesn't know when to call them properly and when to use certain personnel. Like Brian Robinson, he be, he should be your short yardage back. And sometimes with Jonathan Williams or Gibson. And I thought it honestly, last year he did a solid job with the personnel he had. But this year, third year, you gotta be better, not only as a play caller, but how you know with your offensive weapons as well you should just be so much better and he regressed and that is on him he did not do a good job and i yeah he should definitely i'm happy they moved on from him uh, you see the offensive ranks not good 24th in points like their time of possession was great but that didn't mean anything because we couldn't score in the red zone where it mattered so some potential options 
at the offensive coordinator position or yeah, a coaching position. Can't Ken Zampezi probably the favorite? That is probably uh, the favorite for the Commanders. You know, he already he's been with the Commanders all three years. Rivera's been here. He's been in the league for a very very long time. So that is definitely a possibility. Frank Reich is def is a possibility. I just don't know if it's going to happen because that's probably the the best possible offensive coordinator you can get in terms of an established guy. He's done you know a very good job in the past as an offensive coordinator with the Eagles, with the Colts. You know as a head coach, it wasn't the best, but still, he's a very good offensive coordinator, and or he would be. But I think I don't think we'll be able to get him. I think he will be going. Uh, he's gonna. He's already getting some head coaching looks, I believe. But he'll probably either, if he gets a head coaching job, which I don't think he will, he'll take that. Maybe to take a year off, or if he gets the perfect, perfect opportunity as an offensive coordinator, then I think that's what he'll do, or a position where he can truly pick the quarterback. So uh, that's one option. Uh, you know, Pat Shermer could be another option. Uh, he's done some good things as a coordinator. And then Mike Shula is another guy who was the offensive coordinator for Ron Rivera in the past. Did a solid job. Um, Rob Ch- Chudzinski or whatever. He's a special assistant with Boston College. Uh, this is just a guy uh, who I respect on Twitter. And one of his options he's talking about, he said this a, a few days ago. But Mike Shula, Rio has been talking about him for a while. He's a senior offensive assistant with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, he, you know, of course, Ron has loyalty to guys he's, you know, uh, worked with in the past, and of course, worked with him. He was, uh, he was offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers, and they were 58-21 and one during his tenure as offensive coordinator. So honestly, I wouldn't mind Mike Shula. Only thing that I wouldn't like about it is the continued pattern from Ron Rivera of going to guys he's familiar with. I think if I just looked at his resume and said, okay, you know, just look at his record and how the offensive lo- offenses looked while he was a coordinator, I'd be like, okay, this is a guy that I could, you know, I would be happy with. But then you add that it's a Carolina guy and it's the same pattern that he's had, then I'm like, uh, okay, I don't know. But it wouldn't be the end of the world because uh, a lot of these options are linked to Ron Rivera. I saw someone say Cliff Kingsbury, who I know a lot of people just like, or like, look at that and be like, no, no, no. I wouldn't hate it as an offensive coordinator, not as a head coach, of course. He's done good things um, with offenses in the past, but I don't think he's coaching, and I don't think he will, not in college. And he's made a lot of money. Ian Rapport seems to think he's not going to be coaching uh, this year, or at least for a little bit, maybe not ever again, So because of all the money he's made. So that's something to consider there. And one thing this moves tells me, is I really think Ron Rivera is going to be back. He's not retired. You know, there's some questions, like, not from any reporters or anything, but, hey, maybe could Ron Rivera step down, just everything he's gone through, everything the team's gone through, and the ownership and stuff. But doesn't look like that's the case. Doesn't look like Dan's going to move on from him or anything. Not like he really could with this ownership situation. You know, he's leaving, and he's going to have to do that buyout. But, yeah, I mean, I guess Dan's going to have to pay a little bit of a buyout because of Scott Turner's contract that he got extended with um but yeah uh, that you know uh, props to even though he made a terrible decision hiring scott turner because when it happened i wanted us to keep kevin o'connell i think almost all commanders fans did but they decided to go with scott turner and the first couple years weren't terrible but we expected a big jump in year three and took a step back in my opinion and this move was much, much needed. I'm very, very excited to see what the commanders do in terms of hiring the offensive coordinators. At least we can dream for the next 